Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show, and Merry Christmas. Happy Merry, holidays. Merry Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Christmas to you. Uh, good morning, Andy, and good morning, everyone. Yes, good morning. Happy first day of winter. Winter arrives today at 1027 p.m. It's the uh, shortest day and the longest night. Uh, and we're just uh, four days till Christmas. Four days till Christmas. Let's, uh, can we see what it looks like outside? Mm -hmm. Let's go outside. Ooh. 30 nice. degrees. It looks, right. looks like it. Yeah. We could get, uh, we're, we're just expecting clouds today. Looks like about a five and a half mile visibility today. Mm -hmm. Christmas Day, showers and high of 53. Hey, look at those school buses. Pull that back up, guys. <laughs> See them? Oh, yeah. Let's count them. One, gonna... two, three. Field trip. Oh, there's another one. Hang on, folks. We're going to be <laughs> we're gonna be doing this for a minute. Where are they coming Where from? Where are they going? They're coming downtown. Wow. Maybe to the Michigan Theater? <laughs> That's, there's another one. Look, there's a fifth bus. Wow. Is there something we don't know about happening downtown? Must be. Maybe there are five a... school buses headed to our city right now, as you can see <laughs> on the hometown heating, cooling, and more sky cam. Could be a bus rodeo. It could be. Mm -hmm. Maybe all the bus drivers are leaving and having their Christmas party downtown. Downtown tonight is Scrooge night. Oh, perfect. Or is, be here. Or is it... Spelled on social media, Scrouge Night. Scrouge Night? Is it Scrouge? Scrouge? It's Scrouge Night. All right. Uh, I kind of like Scrouge Night. <laughs> Scrouge Night. It's actually Scrooge Night. Uh, so disregard anything that says Scrouge. It's Scrooge. Scrooge. I will be stopping at Windy Hill Creations mm -hmm. uh, tonight for Scrouge Night. And I'm hoping to get some gift wrapped. Mm -hmm. Free gift wrapping. Uh, the uh, holiday movies, uh, they're all over the place. Do you have, what's your favorite one? <sighs> it's Home Alone, Elf, and that's it. Oh, It's a Wonderful Life. Christmas Story I like too, but Home Alone and Elf. Home Alone is number one for me. The battle in Home Alone isn't just between uh, eight-year-old uh, Kevin McAllister and the Wet Bandits. It's the battle uh, off-screen people uh, trying to determine how... Do the McAllisters afford such a, a fancy and house? That's such, it is. It's, everyone wants to know, what did he do in the metro Chicago area? The New York Times turned to economists and people involved with the film to find the answer. And the house, this is actual house at 671 Lincoln Avenue in Winnetka, one of the toniest uh, suburbs Very in nice. the United States. Uh, this house, according to New York Times Economist, $2.4 million. And Mr. McAllister would have to have, uh, the, uh, the Mr. and Mrs. McAllister would have to have a household income of $730,000. Yeah, well, also, how many kids did they have? Four. Four? They had a bedroom for each kid. Oh, it felt like with the Fuller and the other people, there were more. So I was eight years old when this movie came out. Wow. And same I, as Kevin. Same as Kevin. Same as Kevin. It's um, believed that perhaps Mrs. McAllister was a fashion designer because they had all those um, mannequins in the house. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Co Kevin yeah. used them to. There could fight. have been some old family money too. You know, there's mm -hmm. a lot of that, so you can't. It's possible. You, know, you don't know. Mr. McAllister was just <coughs> called a businessman, mm -hmm. uh, according to John Hughes. That mo that movie wanted me to uh, really. W I wanted to become a businessman. Mm -hmm. Uh, after seeing that. Some that have movie. said that he was in organized crime, um, but um, it's doubtful because when uh, Joe Pesci came in as the cop, no one was concerned. Yeah, and it's you wouldn't like, have done that to someone who was a made man. So. Right. Hmm. Uh, very popular. People like to uh, drive by and get their <laughs> picture taken in front of that house. Again, it is on my list. Yeah. Uh, I hope to do that at some point. When you went uh, shopping last night. How was that? Uh, the, uh, it was busy. Very busy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Macy's uh, moved the men's department. I told you about this. To the main floor, way in the corner. And mm -hmm. you know what I said? That's, uh, I'm, I'm not going back there. It's too far. You'd rather go upstairs where it used to be? <laughs> yeah. Really? I wish it was back upstairs. If you go upstairs now, it's just clearance and uh, bedding. Yeah. It's and like who the hell would buy a bed, like, from 
the mall Macy's. I don't know. That'd be ridiculous. How would you a, get it out of there? You they had a six thousand dollar sectional at Macy's. Who would who would buy that? Someone who didn't know any better. Yeah. Our show today is brought to you by Vermeulen Home Furnishings. They're in their third generation of being family owned and operated. Thank you to Vermeulen's. Again, Vermeulen's in a, in a year, they're gonna celebrate 100 years. Mm -hmm. uh, the gift wrapping uh, department at Von Mauer was backed up two and a half hours. And there was a woman in line, she was trying to get stuff from Macy's gift wrapped at Von Mauer. Now that's so. That's ridiculous. You wouldn't, you know what that would be like? What? That'd be like buying something from Jacobson's and taking it to Ross Dress for Less <laughs> to get it wrapped. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a lot of Christmas shopping to do. So, uh, for some reason, the governor is concerned that uh, we're not getting enough people in Michigan. Well, according to uh, census figures released yesterday, we have gained. 4,000 residents in 2023 in the state of Michigan. And that is now, at, we're at 10,037,000 residents, up 4,000 from the year before. We are the nation's 10th most populous state, right in front of New Jersey. And that last seems week, plenty to me. That's fine. Let's leave it how it is. It's fine. Yeah. What, what is the big deal about? Oh, we have to get people here. We're the 10th most populous state. Our population is growing. We're ahead of New Jersey. Uh, we have a growing Michigan Together Council wasting money on uh, determining how are we going to get people to Michigan. Hmm. Yeah, we need more tax dollars, don't we? Uh, yesterday we had an owl story. We have an owl story today. Oh, goodness. A Christmas owl. Uh, one Kent Kentucky family got a little something extra when they picked out their Christmas tree, an owl. Ooh. And they didn't know it until they had it fully decorated. That, that can't be true. <laughs> that owl. owl was alive in their tree the whole time they decorated. And they said, you know, the tree was in their home for four days. What? Before they noticed something unusual. I can tell you that if something like this happened at my house or Brandon's house, Brandon and I would drop dead instantly <laughs> from seeing it yes. after a couple days. <laughs> Literally done. There it we'd is. either have a heart attack and fall down, mm -hmm. or we, I don't know what we'd do. Um, Miss Michelle White, the mom, said, I have three dogs. We use this room nonstop. We watch TV. The kitchen's right here. No indication. <laughs> oh, my know. God. How can you miss an owl in your tree? It's a good thing tree. they called the magic carpet cleaning guy to come he, pick. This is the dad. Oh, he, he must work for a carpet. He works for Magic Carpet Oh, cleaning. well, it looks like he was using his own company time to take care of his personal owl. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, only in Kentucky. Only in Kentucky. Yeah. Wow. Wow, amazing. Mm -hmm. Did you watch Switch last night? No, but I, I'm, uh, I have been watching it more lately. Me too. Yeah, yeah me too. It's, it's a great show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I missed it last night. Mm -hmm. um, I was, I was all over the place last night. We mm -hmm. took in a basketball game. Uh, Ella and I went to the Lumen Christie Jackson High girls basketball game. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lumen beat Jackson. Nice little crowd. And uh, Lumen Christie is undefeated. Wow. Five and zero or six and zero for the first time in a long, long while. Mm. Yeah. Nice. I saw uh, Doug Dysert shopping at the fragrance counter at Von Mauer last night. Oh, time. you did? How's Doug yeah. doing? He's doing fine. Good. He lost 40 seen... pounds. He yeah, he, he does look great. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a couple weeks. You look great, Doug. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, we've got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. The Christmas dinner. Everyone's invited to this. At, it's at Queens, but it's hosted by the whole community. Everyone is welcome. And it's at 2 p.m. It's a community-wide Christmas community dinner. Community-wide Christmas it's called, right? dinner. Yeah. yeah, and you'll be serving or checking in people. I'll be checking in people. Uh, call for reservations. Uh, it's free, but please let them know you're coming. Five one seven five eight one sixteen eighty one. And if you need transportation, they'll pick you up and bring you home. Oh, very and nice. You'll get free dinners to go after nice. you're done dinner. Very nice. Our show today brought to you by Tri-County Water. Wonderful Tri-County Water available in the CNB green room here at JTV. Thank you to Tri-County Water. You looking for it? No. I was looking for our next guest. Oh, really? Already? Yeah. No, not yet. 
Alaska. Uh, yesterday, they gave away hams. The city of Jackson Police Department at Keeley Park gave hams away. They did give hams away. Mm -hmm. It was the ham drive through mm -hmm. uh, Following the successful turkey drive through at Thanksgiving, the ham drive through uh, they went through them all just like that. It was a way that the city police department and group violence intervention initiative helping to uh, bring the community together and make Christmas a little brighter for those who uh, have needs. So there's Chief Chief Hitt. Hitt. Chief Hitt. He's carrying, you know, he's a former athlete. He shouldn't be carrying that ham like a loaf of bread like that, Elmer. <laughs> Can we go back to Elmer holding those hams? Packing hams. Come on, Elmer. Well, he's, he's, he's doing all right. Mm -hmm. He's doing all right there. Thanks. Uh, you know, one thing about Elmer, he's always out in the community too. I have to tip my hat to him. Mm -hmm. This nice uh, treat for uh, the community, thanks. There's Cheryl Ragland from GVI. They've been looking for ways to get more involved in the community mm -hmm. and really that's one of their uh, strategies is let's just become a close community uh -huh. and we'll take care of each other and we won't shoot each other. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Our uh, show today brought to you by Fortress Cafe, wonderful coffee in the green room provided by Fortress. They're located in the Lean Rocket Lab and now open in the lobby of Henry Ford Jackson Hospital. So if you uh, are visiting someone that got a kidney stone, you can get Fortress coffee while you wait. When I was in Ann Arbor last night, uh, you know what the talk of the town was? Kidney stones, Ann Arbor. Jim Michigan. Harbaugh, Jim Harbaugh. Oh, really? Yeah, because everywhere you went, they all have a Jim Harbaugh story. Everyone's got one. Jim Harbaugh buys his shirts here. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, do you know they're just trying to, they're trying to punish, they're trying to crucify the guy for buying some hamburgers at the brown jug for some kids. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the story. Yeah, That's the, I know, yeah. I know. Um, but you were in Ann Arbor, mm -hmm. so yeah. That's no, everyone's, everyone's excited for the, uh, for the college football playoff, the Rose Bowl. Everyone's very, very excited. Mm -hmm. You had something else? I don't know if I do have anything else. Mark your calendar for the Shot Clock Classic. That is coming up next Thursday. And uh, you don't want to miss that. All new technology from JTV. We're very excited. We'll have five live games for you. Introducing with the new technology. It's going to be awesome. Tune in. JTV.TV. YouTube. Or... JTV. It's expected that we are going to have the busiest Christmas travel season and it begins today. It's not going to be as bad as Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving it was condensed. Mm. Christmas travel is spread out. Uh, things slowed up at uh, the security uh, check point at uh, LaGuardia Airport. Um, TSA stopped a traveler who had in his carry-on uh, disposable diaper loaded with 17 bullets. <sighs> yes. Uh, otherwise, uh, officers pulled the uh, otherwise clean diaper from the passenger's carry-on. It triggered an alarm. Did, he, did they think that the TSA guy would think that that was poop? Uh, I don't know, but the guy said, oh, I didn't know. I don't know how that got in my bag. My girlfriend put it there. Oh. Yes. My girlfriend put it there. Well, I haven't seen that that one before. Yeah. That's weird. Bullets. Uh, apparently, this happens a lot. Uh, the passenger <laughs> uh, was identified as a man from Arkansas. Bullets in a diaper. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's very nice. Only in Arkansas. They had a guy with a gun and a hundred bullets the same day. It doesn't make sense. You know, you're wrecking the travel for all the rest of us. The people yeah. that are doing that. Uh, you want to tell me what's going on at Ella Sharp? Well, we have a couple things. We've got the um, candlelight, but not candle, uh, tour, uh, holiday tours of Ella's farmhouse happening every day at 1 p.m. And then the Cosmic Christmas is happening at Hearst Planetarium. I'm very excited shows. about this one. Yeah. And this is really fun for the whole family. A uh, new Christmas light show with a great soundtrack. And plenty of time this week and next at the uh, Ella. Did you do the scoreboard? We don't have one today. We did? Yep, we, we already did it. Oh, we already did it? Mm -hmm. Where was I? You were here just <laughs> not paying attention. Thank you oh, okay. very much. All right. Uh, who's on the show today? It's a good thing you're asking me because you probably <laughs> don't know. We are going to be joined by Dr. Dan Phelan, president 
of Jackson College right after this quick commercial break.